Hey, Lars Bergerson here from Bergerson Boat. We got another boat that just came in. Uh, this one is a 1939 Barrelback. These are one of my favorites. It's the 19 footer. Uh, they made a 17, a 19, and a 23. Uh, the 19 is the most popular one. Anyways, uh, this boat uh, has a couple of really neat features in it. I noticed, um, of course, somebody had restored the original wheel, which is kind of a neat wheel. They call it the banjo wheel. Um, they're kind of expensive to find. The old ones uh, deteriorated and then uh, the plastic that they used, the Bakelite fell off. Anyways, uh, the spokes are actually uh, Harley Davidson spokes. And I've heard that. Um, anyways, there's a place out um, in California that does restore these and this one is done perfect. Um, probably all an epoxy coating on it. It has uh, the original gauges with the blue face, which is really kind of a neat feature. This boat has uh, the kind of original Chris Craft um, uh, burgundy seats. This is not leather. Most of these boats had a leather originally, but this was done in a, a Naga hide vinyl, which is kind of nice. It's more user friendly. Not to worry about getting it wet. Anyways, I'm going to come around here on the other side. So the the engine in this boat is a the original flathead. They made a they had a few different models. Let's see here. I got my little book here that helps figure this out. So a lot of them came with K's, which is the ninety five horse. Um, this one here is the Model M, which is nice because it's got about 135 horse, so it's got a little bit more power, and that was original. They offered that. Um, right here, we got the original numbers on the boat, 48652. So that brings this boat, um, they started the hull numbers at uh, uh, 48500. So this is like the first year, um, the first series of them. I figured they made about 108 of them a year. Uh, this one, some of these boats, um, the early ones actually had uh, the orange deck stripes in it. This one might have had that. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, this was done in white. This boat was restored and done in the white deck scene. And that's what I'm talking about right here. Um, other than that, it does have a, um, a new bottom on it. I'm looking right at it. It's beautiful. It's clean. Uh, it has a like an inner plywood hull, uh, which is nice. So there's no uh, uh, joints in it. Uh, so it's already waterproof. Um, the uh, the bilge is immaculate. The tank looks uh, original, but it looks like it's been completely restored. If you can see the engine. One of the nice things is some of these engines actually didn't have an oil cooler in them. Some did, some didn't. This one has one. Um, they also, a lot of them didn't have this bronze um, uh, exhaust dump right here. The iron ones rotted away, so that's uh, been replaced, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, the whole exhaust system looks like it's been restored. Um, it has a 12-volt battery in here, so we know it's a 12-volt system, so it probably was 6-volt. Obviously, it was 6-volt, and now it's been converted to 12, which is nice. It makes it uh, just easier, uh, easier to start. Um, I see there's actually a, a stick in there, which is um, a gas to check your gas level a lot of that's how they came some of them had like the original stick in them this one doesn't have that anyways 1939 barrel back probably the most iconic the 19 foot this is what i kind of call um, the bucket list boat it seems like everybody that's dreamed of a wood boat this is the one this is like the, the biggest collectible boat of all time, especially because you got that nice tumble home in the back, that curvy uh, boat. Anyways, uh, come see this uh, on our website.